What's up, what's up, Game Wars? Chief Rock here with another episode of Infinite Lagrange. And in today's episode, I want to cover mining platforms because they are very confusing. And as you can see in this video here, which I muted, I'm having a hard time figuring out why my miners keep coming back to my base because it doesn't really describe it when you build these mining platforms. It doesn't give you the description of what it does it doesn't tell you that it, it 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 collects it unless you do the advanced but you have to build the advanced for it to tell you that info because the info kind of goes over everything it's kind of really weird so let's get into this and we'll kind of go over the building options and then each and every platform after that all right so when you go to build any of the platforms or an outpost it's pretty much the same thing you need a utility ship you click on the area you want and you'll get this option here. You'll do the outpost, the basic mining platform, the intermediate mining platform, and the advanced mining platform. And as you can see here, over the intermediate and the advanced, the letters actually go over each other. So it's kind of hard to decipher what it actually does and what the benefits of having either one is. You can also see here the price of each one and how many you can have. All right, so for the basic mining platform, it is just that. It slightly increases the mining speed, and that's going to be different for each and every type of miner you have. That's it. It covers a two by two block square, and that's pretty much it. Your ships are gonna have to fly there, and they're gonna have to fly back, which takes time. So you're going to have to kind of figure out like how, how, how big the distance you want is, or if you want your outpost or your base right next to it, but it has to go back to your base, not an outpost, not the mining platform. The basic mining platform only slightly increases it and gives you a wider area to mine from. All right, so for the intermediate mining platform, it slightly increases the mining speed. Again, it's different for each and every type of utility vessel you have there, but it also lowers the resource nodes level by one. So if you have a level five resource node in there and you only have medium uh, mining utility vessels, then this will lower that so that you could use that medium vessel to get that higher end ore. So that is kind of exceptional. It's, it's a lot better than the basic. However, your vessels still have to fly back to your base, not the outpost, to the base. So again, location for these mining platforms are key. So on to the best of all three, the advanced mining platform. This thing is great. This is what you want to get. And there's many different reasons why. It greatly increases the mining speed of all the utility vessels. It also re reduces the nodes by two levels. So again, if you don't have a lot of the large utility ships, it will reduce that. So let's say you have a level six resource not module it will bring it down to a level four and that's just fantastic the other advantage of this is you don't have to fly your utility ships back to your base anymore it drops off at the advanced mining platform and you will receive the resources this is literally great you only get two of them though and they're quite expensive on the crystals so these are literally the pinnacle this platform with the large utility vessels you're set for the rest of the game. Now, I might have missed a few things or messed up on something. So if you saw something that needs to be added or something that needs to be corrected, leave a comment in the comment section below. That way other people that view this that might not know the game as much as me or you can benefit from that knowledge. That's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed. Chief Rocky out.